you know i would like to believe if you're somebody who's a subscriber to this channel you have already seen that i've been advertising the brand new channel that i've created for you all so and i'm hoping that you have all subscribed to the new channel because i want to upload some unique content christian content that you're going to love and the sooner you all subscribe i've been aiming to get to a thousand very soon the sooner you subscribe and i get to a thousand i'm starting to upload those unique videos so if you have not yet you are a subs you are a subscriber and you've been watching my videos what are you waiting for it's all up to you it's in your hands and we're almost there because now we are over 600 by the time i'm filming this video we are over 600 subscribers so less than let's just put it like less than uh 400 subscribers left 300 of you 200 and something of you then i'm starting it can be as soon as tomorrow so long as you all cooperate and decide to subscribe because i believe most of you who are watching is because you're already subscribed so if you can take time go to the description uh, of the video below there is a link of the brand new channel the gospel with ishmael subscribe and then the number will go up and then get to a thousand i begin delivering those content you're going to enjoy you will get to know me if you already don't know me i will share about who i am you will know the whole of me and i will put a video that anyone can watch at any time you will know so much about me on even other stuff i have so much to share with you so make it quick cooperate if you have not yet subscribed check the channel the link is on the description of the video below right now you can go there and subscribe you won't regret i promise you okay if we are able to get to a thousand views in this video it means each and every one of you if you can decide you can just subscribe as well so go there and subscribe make it a point you don't click out of this video without subscribing okay okay and uh, by the way hello everyone my name is ishmael n and welcome to today's video and in today's video as you saw by the title of today's video you better not tell i believe this today's uh, message today's word is going to help somebody i once made some short videos about such a thing so i feel it will be good to now explain this in full somebody needs this message in fact even myself at times i i just have to remind myself about see this type of way you know you better not tell in which i'll take you to the book of judges chapter 16 with Sel samson and delilah you know what happened isn't it in case you didn't let me just uh give you some sort of like a, a recap of what happened to that scripture samson had a secret which in which like his strength lied on his hair you know so the lord said that no razor should be put in his head the hair was not supposed to be cut off the moment they cut off the hair his strength would go out so he had some supernatural strength you know like he was so much powerful so the lord gave an instruction that they should not cut off his his hair because he was a was it a nazarite yeah i think it was a nazarite so no razor was supposed to be using his head so they tried to kill him, especially the Philistines. They tried to kill him by all means, but they couldn't, they couldn't overpower him because there was too much anointing upon him due to the hair that was on his head. Until they plotted with his wife, who was a Philistine as well, Delilah, and they were like, find a secret and we're going to give you money. The secret of your, your husband, where does he get his strength at? And then Delilah tried by all means, as she was the wife, was like tell me where is where do you get your strength how can i what makes you to be weak and blah 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 but samson tried 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 but she kept on pushing pushing and that's one thing that i can tell you about women women they know how to push 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 and they can now make a man now feel like oh okay let me just tell her and then you put your trust but here i'm not talking about women of course don't bash me ladies yeah i just want to talk in general i just want somebody to be aware a lot of things is going on into the world and you need such a message you need to remind yourself that even if somebody is as closer to you like huh that you better not tell you better not tell let me tell you there are a lot of people today who are crying they had business ideas and they shared with the wrong people 
and the people started to use their ideas. The Lord gives you a business idea or a unique idea to do something, but you decide not to shut your mouth. You share with somebody and somebody end up using that idea. Or you share a secret. It happens a lot. I'm sure you can relate. You told a close friend a secret or even a family member or a relative something very uh, personal. And then before you know it, once you guys fight, sometimes even if you don't fight, but before you know it, now somebody else know about that secret and it ends up hurting you. Now everyone, the neighbor, they know your secret. Those are the people we are living with today. You better not tell. You must learn to shut up. It's what got Samson into trouble. That is what got Samson killed because he couldn't keep his mouth shut. He tried, but they kept pursuing. Let me tell you that the Lord, when he does something to you, there are some things that are only between you and your God. It's not everything you have to tell. And I know it's hard, you know, even myself, there comes a time where I'm like, I can realize that I'm talking too much. Now I'm revealing so much. Even when it comes to finances, sometimes you find that now maybe you have some financial plans and all. You just see somebody now taking advantage of you. Now they want to borrow money and sometimes they don't return back your money. Why? Because you shared that, you know what, I have this uh, money that I want to save up so that I can use it for this, this and that. Somebody comes and be like, you know what, I have this problem, blah, 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 blah. Next thing, they borrow money because they believe you have money. Next thing, they don't return back your money and now it leaves you stressed. Why? Because you couldn't keep your mouth shut. They know your bank account. Some you, them, you, your money is stolen. You don't understand how. But it's because you shared with somebody you felt that you can trust. Hallelujah. Sometimes you are even to somebody whom you are married to. You know, you end up sharing so much. Let me, in fact, let me just talk about someone you are married to. Let me go back that people when they're in love, in relationships. This is one thing you must be careful of. Please take this. Take this is more important than anything else. I don't want to make this video any longer, but let me just give you this. Without even having to go to, into marriage, because marriage is more tempting, I can understand a little bit. But now let's go back. Let's go back to dating. Dating most people, women especially, even these men, these, these good, 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 good guys, good men, they tend to share secrets. Even women, you, you tend to even say things you're not supposed to say. I remember a friend of mine will tell me that one girl that was talking to him because she found out that she was uh, HIV positive. So she ended up like wanting to reveal even to other people she was dating. She was like, she wants to open up and even tell those people that she has this status. Then, then I, I remember when I was discussing with my friend, I was like, you know what? The problem with this lady is this. She sh I don't think it's a good idea to share her status with just anybody. How many people is she going to date? It's not like she's married to this guy. But why is she sharing? Because before you know it, this man already, I think he had a wife or something. I was like, so obviously this guy, you will just know her status, most likely will even run from her. Although she's opening up, but we don't know how many people is she going to tell. And indeed, she told that guy, but next thing he started ignoring her and then he disappeared. And you know what's the disadvantage with that? That's why I say we must be careful. I believe if she was to share that, it there will be somebody whom she knows they are about to get married so that they know what they're getting into. But that person ran with something. And before you know it, you find that maybe, and I think they were almost like from the same area. I'm like, people, they don't know how to shut up. That guy most likely found that he had told somebody else. Now everyone around, they know her status. So I was trying to say like, you better be careful. Even with somebody you are close to. Remember when people break up, you, they almost like become strangers. Check your exes. Most of them, you're no longer even talking after you break up. But at the time you were close, they knew so much about your family. They knew so much like what happens in your family. So when you don't shut your mouth, most likely when you, you break up, you become like strangers and that person won't hide anything from you. Won't hide anything from you because now you are separated. I realize this is even common. I hear it a lot. You know, some even some women, you will hear that realize when she had broken up with a boyfriend, now she will even go out and tell her girlfriends that oh, this guy was not even good in bed. This guy, like a uh, man who is even of a small size, you know, those things like will come out. So this shows you how ruthless people can be. 
once they know so much about you. So I'm not talking only about relationship, but I'm talking in general. That every time you are with somebody, the moment you open up your mouth, just know that let it be something that you know. Once it gets out, I won't have a problem. Even no matter how in love you are, especially if you're not married to somebody, just know that you guys might be in love, right? And you might be like having your honeymoon and what, 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 what. But the moment you separate, that person won't spare you. Whether it's a guy or what, they won't spare you. Sometimes you share those secrets. Once they get out, they're going to tell their friends. They're going to reveal everything. So be careful. Don't let them know your secret. Whether it's finances, how do you get your money? Some, they will steal your ideas. So you better not share. Share those things which you know they are needed. Just like that lady where she shared their status, I'm like, it better be somebody whom now she knows she's getting married to. So imagine, each and every time she gets in a relationship, she shares immediately what is going to happen. Now everyone is going to know, and before you know it, it's going to further bring her down. Now everyone knows her status. So it better be somebody whom you know that, you know what, this is getting much serious and it's going to get, once you get inside, for example, like you're about to get married, there's no getting out. So it's only fair you reveal to somebody. You get what I'm trying to say? Of course, this is an example. Um, I'm not trying to say that she should hide and go infect people. No, I'm just trying to give an example of how people can hurt you. So find a way to say it. So what I'm trying to say is like we are living with ruthless and uh, heartless people here. They're going to hurt you because you are trying to be cool. And what she was doing was actually cool. She didn't want to find herself maybe somebody finding out the other way or infecting somebody. But what I'm trying to say is the people we live with, unfortunately, they don't think twice. You share the business idea instead of them being grateful that you trust them. Now they're using it and they don't even want to spill, they have some percentages with you, you know. They just go and run and they forget even about you. It's like some, not acknowledging somebody who, who helped you, not putting somebody as a reference. So that's the people we live with. Look at what Delilah did to Samson. It's what got him killed because of money. So learn to shut up in each and there are some different examples. So but learn to shut up. Remember what happened to Joseph once he shared with his brother a dream. That's why I say even if it's a family member, be careful. I know sometimes you get excited and you want to share with somebody so that you can rejoice together. But always remember you don't know the heart of man. Only the Lord knows. We can know the heart of man but the Lord. The Bible says so. Even your own family members, they can do something and you'll be surprised. So learn to shut up. You better not tell. Okay? Oh, let me cut it here, okay? That's all I had for you in today's video. And remember to subscribe to the brand new channel, our channel. The sooner the better we get to a thousand. We're almost there. Don't give up now. So check out this brand new channel, The Gospel with Ishmael, okay? Help the others. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe so that we can get there very quick and we get it on, get it moving. Don't get stuck there. I want to put up some amazing content for you. Hallelujah. Make sure you check the link. It's on the description of the video below. And if you enjoyed today's video, like it, share it as well as subscribe. And now I'm talking about this channel now. Subscribe to this channel as well. Hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new videos like this. And remember to be a born again Christian. You had Bexley then. Repent. Rededicate your life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. To invite him back into your heart. To guide and lead you. Invite the Holy Spirit. Okay. And for testimonies, prayer requests, or spiritual advices, DM me on my Instagram or email me. The details are on the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.